the Evil Dead. It's supposed to be like a comedy thing. Don't let the noise fool you, girls. This thing is solid as a rock. Yeah, right. That's where they're going? To an old... Isolated... Cabin. Damn. Rocking them bell bottom. That's pretty creepy. All right, nothing funny about this movie so far. What the hell's going on? Oh, uh, it's like a satanic book or something. A little bit of trivia from IMDb. It says the cabin used as the film set was also lodging for the 13 crew member with several people sleeping in the same room. Living conditions were terrible. And the crew frequently argued. The cabin didn't have plumbing, so the actors went days without showering. Man, that's guerrilla filmmaking right there. And fell ill frequently in the freezing weather. By the end of the production, they were burning furniture to stay warm. <laughs> Damn. At the end of the principal shooting in Tennessee, the crew put together a little time capsule package and buried it inside the fireplace of the cabin as a memento of the production to whomever found it. The cabin has since been destroyed and only the fireplace is still intact. Oh, it's called the Book of the Dead. What? The original script called for, the, for all the characters to be smoking marijuana. When they are first listening to the tape, like at this tape right here. The actor decided to try this for real, and the entire scene had to be later reshot due to their uncontrollable behavior. <laughs> they were probably cracking up. Oh. Shut it off. Shut it off. Give me the power, I beg of you. So you could summon demons even through a tape recording? After completing principal photography in the winter of 1979, most of the actors left the production. However, there was still much of the film to be completed. Man. Most of the second half of the film featured Bruce Campbell and various stand-ins or fake shimps to replace the actors who left. Man. They didn't believe in it, huh? One of the most intricate moments during editing was the stop motion sequence where the corpses melted, which took hours to cut properly. Oh, That's why you appreciate it so much. Really the white contact lenses were very painful to wear. They covered half the eye and had to be taken out every 15 minutes to allow the eyes to breathe. A cameraman slipped during filming, smashing his camera into Bruce Campbell's face and knocking out several of the actor's teeth. Jesus. The film was shown to Stephen King and it was his glowing endorsement, which was later used on the film's ads and posters of the film, which really hold, hold it to the public. I know the, someone's out there. the film was brought by New Line Cinema soon after. On the very first day of shooting, during a sea shot on the bridge, the crew got lost in the woods. The horny part. Right they got a few movie mistakes too. The characters' hairstyles, as well as the amount of blood on them, changed drastically from shot to shot. A result of shooting the film sporadically over the over several years. Note that seconds after Ash is completely covered in Linda's blood, he is clean again. Huh. In the cellar, when the projector comes on, blood is dripping on the center of the lens in large circles. However, on the screen, you see the blood oozing down from top of the lens rather than dripping on the center. When Scotty first enters the cabin, it is clearly dark out, despite it being daylight outside when he approaches the house. The giant piece of wood Ash is beating his girlfriend in the head with is obviously foam and actually breaks in half while he's doing it. You can see that he is desperately trying to, to hold it together. I want to see that. 
The sunrise at the end of the movie is reused footage of the sunset at the beginning. During the dinner scene, when the basement door flies open, you can briefly see the arm of the person who flung it open. Yes, I missed that one. Ashley? His name's really Ashley? No wonder he calls himself Ash. He should be Ashley. Ashley. They had earbuds back then? Four of hearts. Eight of spades. Two of spades. Jack of diamonds. Jack of clubs. Oh. Why have you disturbed our sleep? Okay, that's scary. Oh, what's up with the moon? Think so. That's crazy looking. Linda cannot walk with a leg like that. She can't even stand up. Well, then we'll leave her here. Until we oh, man. Back. What are you, crazy? I can see why the movie had a cult following. What? <laughs> Oh, not her too. Why only women? Oh no, not this guy too. Help me! Oh, that's creepy as hell. Like the smile movie right now. You're not He's a goner. <laughs> Mega bitch. Kill her. Yeah. What a shotgun. Boom. No, he doesn't do it. Ah, oh, messing with his head. Help me, please. Let me out of here. I'm, I'm all right now. Oh my God, her too. I'm all right now, Ashley. I'm all right. Unlock this chain and let me out. Don't do it. <laughs> no again. Where's that light coming from? Oh. God. Oh. <laughs> She's good, man. This poor bastard. I like the camera movements. Different uh, shots they use. Different angles. What the hell's he doing? A chopper up? Just can't do it, man. That's love for you. Oh, he's gonna bury her. Oh, God. God, come on.
There you go. What? <laughs> Little stubby fingers. Oh! Why is coming out of the whole house? <laughs> Sounds like a soda being served. Now that's claymation right there. Pretty good visuals. It doesn't look like a low budget movie. I don't think they spend a whole lot. And it looks like they did though. What is the budget? Let me see real quick. Yep. Pretty big budget, but not huge. I mean for an indie movie, a little small movie, uh three hundred and fifty thousand. And then gross two and a half million. Three million worldwide. <laughs> I like that. Oh, how the hell did they do that? That was cool. That was trippy. Oh! Oh, you got it. That's how you get rid of them. Looks like you got Colgate coming out. What the hell is falling apart? Oh man, look at that. That looks good. Yeah, that takes a long time. <laughs> I guess now they would use CGI. I like that better though. So he's a lone survivor. Uh, mashed potato. Attention. Oh, shit. Oh. What is it? All that budget went to uh, practical effects, man. Look at that. Probably has some crazy stories to tell. And the sun comes out. You made it, buddy. You made it.
Turn it around, no! Damn good movie. Okay, I will... Oh, look at that. Special makeup effects. Tom Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan. I thought it was Tom Savini. All right, man. Not what I expected. I expected a comedy. I heard it was funny. But maybe the, only the sequels are funny. Because I've seen uh, Army of Darkness. Man, that's hilarious. I love that movie. I thought it was going to be something like that, but... Nope. So, acting, top notch. Um, score, the sound effects, real good. But, the best part of it is the uh, uh, makeup. The uh, props, the uh, stop motion, all that. Real good. Especially for um, early 80s stuff. It, it was like uh, guerrilla filmmaking. I guess they, they went guerrilla style. It doesn't look like that. It looks real, like they really put money into it, like a whole lot more than three hundred thousand. Yeah, this is a good Halloween movie. Gonna be in my rotation every year, every October. So from one to ten, ten, easy. Catch you on the next one. Counterfeiting is a billion dollar business perpetrated by thousands of people throughout the world. Meet Kimo, one of those people. Kimo is a young man from the most dangerous city in America. After losing his job, he ventures into the risky business of counterfeiting to help relocate his family to a better place. <laughs> 